I had never in my entire career seen the chief state's attorney have a presumption of prosecutorial vindictiveness. That was game over, it was done. The city state's attorney, Ivan Bates, dismisses all charges against Keith Davis Jr. Now, he was set to face a fifth murder trial for the death of Pimlico security guard Kevin Jones. Fox 25's Mackenzie Frost is live with the breakdown of just how we got here and what's next. And Mackenzie, this is really a highly controversial case. Yeah. Yeah, Maxine and Kai, we've been talking about this case for years and for years. Ivan Bates has said on the campaign trail that he thought the charges against Keith Davis Jr. should be dismissed. Now we're seeing that become a reality. And as of today, the Kevin Jones murder investigation is open. I think Ivan Bates is showing his constituents that he's a man of his word. After years of vowing his innocence, Keith Davis Jr., a man who was facing a fifth murder trial for the same charge, now a free man. Seen here in photos on social media with his attorney after being released. A homecoming with his wife Kelly and all of his supporters for the first time in more than seven years. At the center of controversy, where Kevin Jones was shot and killed in June 2015 on his way to work at Pimlico Racetrack. Hours later, Baltimore police chasing Keith Davis Jr., shooting at him more than 30 times, hitting him three times. BPD claiming Davis shot at police, but that was later proven to be false. Former city state's attorney Marilyn Mosby later charging Davis with the murder of Kevin Jones. Davis faced four murder trials and was preparing for a fifth after years of overturned convictions and deadlocked juries. Then Mosby filing an attempted murder charge against Davis stemming from an alleged stabbing that took place in jail. That charge came almost a year after the incident happened in jail, but two weeks after Davis's new trial had been ordered. The entire time, Davis's supporters holding event after event, claiming innocence and pressuring Mosby to drop the charges. But for years, Mosby has maintained her intent to prosecute. Keith Davis Jr. The tensions boiling over when Mosby flipped off a Keith Davis Jr. supporter seen here, only to claim she was giving a thumbs up, later backtracking, admitting to the gesture, claiming she felt threatened. Fast forward to earlier in 2022, when a Baltimore City Circuit Court judge ruled Mosby was using vindictive prosecution, putting a gag order in place for the case, which Mosby later violated. But that means that we have to go to trial four or five times. That's what I'm going to do. And the judge found the city's town prosecutor in contempt of court. This is state's attorney's office doing what was the right thing. State's attorney Ivan Bates says that ruling from the judge made it clear what he had to do. When he looked at the MRDCC case, there was a presumption there was prosecutorial vindictiveness. And that was huge for us. It kind of let us know that if they were willing to do that, then what else could they possibly have done with this particular case. This was a case in which clearly my predecessor, the fingerprints all over this case. This was a personal case to that individual. Now Davis is home, but Bates recognizing how difficult his decision is for the Jones family. I think you can be happy, but your heart can break at the same time. As a search for who killed Kevin Jones continues. Now, before Keith was released from custody, I spoke with Kelly on the phone. She says, obviously, today is an emotional day and there's a lot to process. And there is a GoFundMe page that has been launched. And within the last hour, the goal has been bumped from $10,000 to 50. And as it stands right now, they are reaching nearly $14,000. Live in Baltimore, Mackenzie Frost, Fox 45 News.